Welcome back to Rolling, everyone. I'm Incetic. With me in person is Blank Tester. Mm-hmm. Here I am. And today we're going to the Business Park, California. We got John, you know, with the leopard print bandana. Cool. I'd seen that in the uh, options for forever, so I had to finally bust it out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he's just pretty cash excited for this rollerblading session. And oh, wrong switch up. It's not in California. It's in Duluth, Georgia. There was it, a little bit of miscommunication there. It, yeah, it did in fact between say. Between GA and CA. Huh. I don't know, just kind of interesting. Weird. Someone had California on the brain from the, you know, other half of the game that's in California. Or maybe they thought it was California. Yeah, yeah. And then someone else saw that and went, oh, no, they spelled that wrong. <laughs> California, there we go. Right. Fixed. And you might have noticed that was a little light on the challenges. It only yeah. really showed us, like, three or four. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because, uh, you know, we need to ride around and see what's going on. Because also this place looks a little empty at the moment. Empty mm -hmm. of people and such. Maybe, Not a lot of business going on at this business park. Well, they maybe they closed the whole thing down for a sick rollerblader session. And maybe we got super VIP early access passes or something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, here's a question for you. Do you think business parks have park rangers? Uh, hmm. Business park rangers. Do security guards count as park rangers? Uh, kind of. Okay, then in that case, yeah. yeah kind of. In yeah. that case, yeah. Hmm. All right, so a cool little, uh, park, you know, building-like area. And, you know, it might look a bit overwhelming at first, but it is structured pretty well so that there are, you know, one or two paths to get up to the roofs. And, yeah. and then kind of there from, you can go roof to roof to roof. Yeah, it seems like there are a lot of good lines so far. Yeah, in pretty sensible ways. So, you know, it's nice, kind of, you know, that feeling of exploration without really being overwhelmed in massive, massive areas. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What was that? That was weird. Huh. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. Oh, my God. So... This is some kind of satanic ritual, isn't it? Oh, boy. We'll just have to see. <laughs> so one of the challenges was to grind the security door open. And yeah, that security guard's sleeping, we open the doors, everyone can come on in. Oh. Now. Additional oh, and that's, objectives that's where the other objectives come from. Yeah, okay. it's kind of cool. It's a idea they try out once, and it's, you know, a neat little idea. Yeah. Mm. Wow, so you're like a... You're like a... Like, you, you're bringing freedom to the people. Yeah, yeah. You know? I bring freedom to the people with rollerblading. Yeah, like, they're like, they send one guy in to open the gates so that all the... You know, all the soldiers can come in. And by soldiers, I mean workers. And by workers, I mean just, like, regular business people. Regular dudes, like the photographers and such. Yeah. The other pros. Yeah. You know, the people who want to take your sick pics. I mean, that's... It, you know, I have been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed recently, right? Like, going back and playing the older ones. And, you know, there are a lot of missions where Ezio is sent into... Uh, He's sent into, into like, a castle or whatever, and then he has to open the gate, and then other people come in after him. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, you, you basically did that. Yeah, we're like but the rollerblading roller Ezio. Do you think the next Assassin's Creed will feature rollerblading? I mean, hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say yes. That way I look like a psychic. If it comes true, they've kind of been like going further back in time. That though. is true. You know, Origins and Odyssey. They're so. pretty far back, yeah. So I don't know. Like they might go back to like Mesopotamia next or something. I mean, that's basically Origins, right? Well, Origins was like Egypt, right? Yeah. I'm talking well, I guess, yeah, straight really, up, really, like, really far back. Hunter gatherer, you know. Oh, okay. Well. It's the Asa Far Cry primal of Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay. Well, how about we go all the way back to Africa? Yeah. Oh wait, no. Because in the Assassin's Creed world, humans were created by the alien things or whatever. Uh, right? I don't know all. Spoiler alert! I don't know. I. I, I mean, that's know. Assassin's Creed Two came out like ten years ago. Right. right. So that's not really a spoiler, I don't think. Okay. And most people don't really give a shit about the, the actual lore of. Assassin's yeah, Creed. I, I don't know. Are there any other new? Are there any other modern game series that we can apply rollerblades to? Mm. Though, as a thought experiment. I mean, Call of Duty. Call obviously. Of Duty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. The next major set piece in the next Call of Duty is that, you know, the roller park, roller skating park, is yeah. attacked by the terrorists. By the terrorists. And, and then, you gotta fight them off. Yeah. But you can activate your roller blades and zoom across the battlefield How about quickly. We just replace sprint with roller blades. Yes. 
Exactly. You've got oh. Heelys. You activate the rollerblades out of your shoes and you can use them. Okay, check this out. You got Heelys, uh -huh. right? You have to build up momentum, and it is based on gravity. You have to click the thumbstick again right. if you're like slowing down because you're going uphill. But you can shoot while you've got your roll your heelys, yes. and that affects your momentum too. Oh man! So the kickback can cause you to slow down. Wow. That would be actually be really intense. Wow. It, it'd be like you get like a big machine gun and you shoot it behind you and you just go. Yeah, you just go roll. It's like that old Battlefield. Wasn't it Battlefield where you, you'd shoot the tank while you're reversing? Like you'd be in a oh, tank yeah. and you'd shoot forward while you're reversing and you'd speed up. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Awesome. Yeah. That we, would actually be kind of cool. We need more like way over the top physics stupid yeah, games, like, you know. <laughs> you don't need you don't necessarily need the physics to you know control everything, but right. Physics physics influencing the mechanics, the game systems. That that that's some that's some cool ass shit. Yeah, yeah. That'd be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would probably take a lot of getting used to. You know, oh, that was a dope. You know, kids these dope. days, I know I'm sounding old. Kids these days aren't growing up knowing the joy of going into multiplayer lobbies and just exploiting really hilarious glitches. Yeah. You know, like, kids these days can't load up Black Ops 4 and, like, go super bouncing. Or, uh, Fortnite and, uh, yeah. Do it, well, I guess they do Fortnite, they jump on the rocket when someone shoots. That's them. true. That's kind of cool, but. Uh, yeah. It's not really the same. That seems more intentional at this point. Yeah, than, I mean... Than, uh, like a glitch or a bug or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Two for bouncing. I don't know. Yeah, Fortnite, you, you don't have multiplayer lobbies of, like, escaping the map and going, like, miles out of bounds because there's, like, the well, textures there, get all wonky. Maybe there, there are. There. Maybe there are. Fortnite lobbies that we're just not familiar with. You know, I, I don't so. watch Fortnite gameplay. Yeah, really. I mean, why are you doing that? Uh, I was mainly checking that I did have the right trick. Okay, you just wanted to spill some. Right, right. I wanted to donate blood. to the, the sidewalk ground. blood fund. Yeah, sidewalk blood fund. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Dang. No. That is a really. I mean, those are some really sweet tricks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? You it, have to talk to him first. Well, it didn't count. Okay. I talked to him and then I went to do it and it didn't count that time. Weird. But yeah, there are some there are some pretty cool photographer tricks in this level. Yeah. A bridge too far. You'll know you got it when you get the gap. Yeah. It's like tied to the gap kind of things. All right, remember in that second level when the guy gave us the game device to take across the level? Yeah. Well, this time this dude's holding on to this other dude's cell phone. He must have lost it somewhere when he was getting up on the roof. <laughs> I think this belongs to that guy. <laughs> I Thing. Like, do you know that guy? <laughs> uh, Is that a, just a guess? How did you... How are you not sure? Uh-oh. Oh. Another that, satanic that symbol. Again. Yeah, that was weird. But... If it ends up being Satanism, I want it to be clear that I had no idea before going in. Right. Blank Tester's just giving his best I, guess. I'm giving my best I mean, guess well, right Then now. again, you've seen a lot of these games. Are there any other things that these games trend to that you might want to guess? Like weird inclusions to extreme sports games, odd things. Giant inflatables. Mmm. I could safely say it's not that. Damn. But I. I'm gonna stick with satanic thing sat and just be wrong. Because <laughs> uh, I don't. You're going. I, you're going full. I'm on going this, full steam full into this. I know I'm wrong, but if I'm right, that's gonna be insane. It's better to be comfortably wrong than unfortunately right. Okay, so there are two of those Aliens. symbols. If you run them both over, there's <gasps> I a saw it. bright white and yep, aliens. Oh shit! Just like all these games gravitate towards, there's aliens. In this what do level. you mean gravitate towards? Your gravity's not really working here. Ah, I see. Well, yeah. So you. By go the way, did you see the UFO flying? On yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was dope. So you go into the alien ship and it's reduced gravity and an odd kind of camera angle thing. Kind of slightly sort of fish eye or whatever, and then but it also has the secret video group logo, what? which I should collect just a time because no one will believe you. That is awesome. And then there's an alien just chilling out there. Oh well, then people will probably believe you. Yeah, yeah. The guy's got his phone back. Combo landed on camera. Let's see it. Nice, nice. Yeah. Now imagine if you had a gun. What? What? No, for like Call of Duty. Oh. 
Oh, right. Yeah. Back to that. Back to that, yeah. Back to that. Not like John Julio is just like, no, 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 no. Did not... you get that shot? Well, how about this one? Bang, 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 bang. What if the next Call of Duty was all about a bunch of, like, like John Julio and, like, the other characters uh-huh. from this, right? Like, we get the license to real-life dudes. Yeah. And chicks. Oh, man. License to real-life dudes. That's some late-stage capitalism right there. But yeah. 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 But, like, we get, like, real-life people... As the main characters of this Call of Duty game, uh-huh. they're riding around on rollerblades uh-huh. and using guns, and they're like the U.S. Army's like last. It's like Call of Duty mashed system. up with that Disney movie Brink. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. I Her- hated that movie. <laughs> All I remember about that movie is in the final race, the main character doing like some crazy shortcut. That should have totally been. Yeah, he cool. cheated. He yeah. cheated like twice. Yeah. Um, uh, I know that because I've seen the movie recently. Right. Zax yes. made you, me watch it. Yeah. You and Zax. Well, Zax loves her Disney original. God, movies. she loves her Disney movies. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's real sweet, but I wish she would stop showing me that garbage. We want to watch like bad action movies and such, and she wants to I watch think, bad Disney. I think if she wa- if she tries to force me to watch the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, I'm going to break up with her. <laughs> oh dang! I'll just break. That's up an with ultimatum. Her. That's my ultimate. She doesn't even know the ultimatum right now. Yeah. Um, but I will break up with her if if she tries to make me watch that garbage. Right. Dang. So you're not gonna get to Sweet Life on deck then. I hate, I hate you. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> my sister watched Disney Channel all the time. Like, that I mean, granted, I was, with Duff, your sister, Sweet I was Life. watching Vampire Diaries literally yesterday. Yeah, so. you were watching Vampire Diaries with my sister and my mother. Yeah, and I'm, you know what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get into that shit. I'm gonna actually watch that with Zags. Oh yeah. I talked to her about it yesterday. I was like, we should watch this show. It sounds like, it seems like utter garbage. <laughs> and she said the one time, the one episode she saw. There was there was some stupid goofy nonsense and it was just uh, dookie but garbage bad. Wow. And I that's not her that's, words. That's, that's a lot of adjectives. Yeah. yeah. And I said yes, and she said yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know how our conversations go. Yes. Yeah. Badness brings us together. Yeah. We just like watching garbage. Yeah. Wasn't that what we t- determined when you say a movie is great? You actually means it mean it's really terrible. Yeah. I mean, I'll say. I use different words. If I say great mm-hmm. in reference to a movie, mm-hmm. I'm almost certainly talking about how great, it, greatly bad it is. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I'll say, like, like uh, I don't even know. Like, Train to, Bus- Train to Busan. I just saw that movie recently. And I thought it was, it was, a, it was a really interesting movie. Yeah. I, I would say, I would never say a bad movie is interesting. Okay. Um... Because they almost never are. Right, right. You have your own adjectives for movies that are actually good. Yeah. I mean, I would probably say the phrase actually good as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is this what happens when we get too ironic, my dude? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, you could talk to the alien at any time and... And, and open this up He'll again? open the warp up, yeah. But you only have five seconds. It's enough for one sick trick. 1260, another 1260. Oh, oh. no. Oof. That 2520 is elusively out of the way for now. Yeah. But hey, I mean, there's some pretty low gravity in there. We we might be able to try some some sweet tricks. Yeah. I'd yeah. really like to see you do a 3780. Right. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, that might allow us to do your signature trick. The 1800 from the standing position. I've got, you know, I think... Us mortals might finally be able to get on your level. I think maybe, well, you he had to get the run-up, so that's okay. I'll give him props there, because he is using his environment to his... his right, his, right. You know, there's nothing wrong with, with doing that. But I would say, though, that it may be more advantageous to him to attempt something more than an 1800, because at a certain point, you're really just trying to build up rotational speed. Right. Right? And so, like, if you can just build up as much speed as he can, he doesn't need to stop at 1800. Right. He could get to 18,000 degrees. Yeah. What is the spin record for a rollerblading trick? Because I know they can spin faster. I'm not sure. You, you know, they show, like, someone doing, like, a 1080 off a ramp in the intro. Yeah. You like, know, so it's not like busting a 900 like Skateboarding World was yeah. was a huge 
changing you know, game changer. What are the game changing tricks for rollerbladers? I really don't like, know. Like, is there something that the rollerblading crowd points to as like their moment? You know, that was beautiful. I think um, we should definitely get some input from the the commenters on that. Right. I think they would they would probably right. Know. But um, um, rollerblading spin record. Let's right. See so while you're doing that. Uh, what I was showing off is that, yeah, I was trying to grind for the point score by literally grinding around in that figure eight. But if you can go into the alien half pipe, do a trick, and then do one of the spin, you know, like dom spin or unity spins back and forth, you can conserve your speed for a while. So you can see that I can get huge tricks back and forth and back and forth, really without running out of speed. Um, so this is definitely the way to go if you just want to do it and make sure. And again, you also don't have to try and keep your balance across all those grinds. So, yeah. Jesus Christ, what? Gumby. Okay, when I googled roller skating spin <laughs> record, I got an article from the Guinness World Records. Right. And this is not for- oh, hold on, I think I'm gonna go for one more sick trick, one more, one more thing to round it off. Well, that's not the final thing to round it off, but- Oh! 1080. But, oh wait. No, it's gonna be in a little bit. Oh, 1260, 1260, oh! Oh! You did it, the 2520, off the ramp. Damn, you got more than two million points, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so, okay, this is gonna kind of- Oh, those, uh, those spin tricks you do by hitting L2 instead of R2, just in case anyone who hasn't played the game was wondering. Mm -hmm. The R2s are the cess slides, L2s are the Dom or Unity spins. There's another one, but I can't remember the name of it. Okay, so check this out, so, a Chinese group, and a Chinese a youth acrobatics troupe, they did this. It's two skaters holding on and two people suspended by their necks. <laughs> and they did 183 spins in 30 seconds. Whoa. Dang. I mean, I'm looking for off a half pipe. Yeah, I was just hoping for that, but, but Jesus. That's pretty crazy as well. Let me, let me... I think my, oh no uh, um, oh this is unprofessionalism uh, I, it, maybe I'll just like provide a link or something holy Jesus Christ um, so next time we're gonna go to the final level we're going to Sydney um, do you have something more you want to talk about on this you better have a link in the description or yeah whatever, yeah we'll, for this we'll, fucking video we'll this is insane this. all right all right we'll go to downtown Sydney next time the final main level of rolling.